dear audience welcome back i hope that you are all are fine today i am going to discuss about the supremum and infimum of a set to discuss it uh, i am going to take uh, the help of an example and that is very easy example of a set a equals 1 2 3 now in this case we find many real numbers like 3 3.5 5 6 7 8 9 10 that means there are infinite real numbers which are which are greater than or equal to each elements of the set a that means if it is possible to find the real numbers which are greater than or equal to each of the elements of the given set then we say that those real number are the upper bounds of the set and if there are upper bounds of the set then we say that the set a is said to be the bounded above and in these cases among the upper bounds you will find the three is the lowest upper bound and this lowest upper bound or least upper bound is known as the supremum of the set a so we can say that this greater and equal real number are known as the upper bounds of the set those equal and greater real numbers which are greater or equal to each of the elements of the given set are known as the upper bounds and in this case this set is said to be the bounded above and among the upper bounds 3 3 point 5 5 6 7 8 9 up to infinity there are infinite number of real numbers which are the exactly uh, called the upper bounds of the sets and among these upper bounds three is called the least upper bounds and this least upper bound is known as the supremum of the set a now i am going to discuss about the infimum what's the infimum again i have uh, again I consider an, a very easy set a equals 1 to 3 and we may find many real numbers like 1 0 0.5 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and here each real numbers are the less than or equal to the elements of the given sets and these real number are known as the lower bounds of the sets and among these lower bounds one is the greatest and that is why one is said to be the uh, greatest lower bounds or infimum that means greatest lower bound is called the infimum and in this case the set is said to be the bounded below it is remarkable to mention that if a set is bounded below and bounded above then we say that the set is bounded that means a set is bounded means it is bounded below and also bounded above dear audience i hope that you could understand what is the infimum and supremum of a set again i will come along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye